I don't know. I think he's just. I don't know, bro. I don't know. You just don't really do best, I guess. Well, I just mean, you know, when we see you, you move your head after you throw those bombs. And is that going to be one of the differences on the fight? I mean, it can be. It can be. And for Ryan's last fight, he was originally scheduled to fight for Tuna at 135. Ryan wanted to fight at 135, but for Tuna wanted to fight at 140. So why do you think Ryan wants to fight you at a higher and heavier weight, but not for Tuna? Uh, I think he just wanted to fight... Um, I think he wanted to just be lazy and not not train as hard. When he fight at 35, he actually got to like work to make the weight. So I think he was just trying to like um, be lazy and then also probably he think he got a better advantage at 140. Yeah, you and Ryan are both lightweights. So if Ryan accepted the fight with you at 135, wouldn't there have been would there have been no rehydration clause? Oh. I said, you and Ryan are both lightweights. If Ryan accepted to fight you at 135, would there have been? Nah. Okay. No, nah, it wasn't okay. It just, he's trying to, I don't know, try to figure out, I mean, find a way to have some advantage, so I guess. You, you were mentioning in the all access that you're making sure your defense is extra sharp for this guy because he is dangerous. And so how has that been in camp? You know, are you... Um, you know, moving your head that much better for this fight and, and whatnot? He only dangerous with the hook, nothing else. He's dangerous just with that hook. That's it. His hook is like his best punch. Well, he says he has a good right hand, too. What if no, you get it? No, he don't. He don't got no damn good right hand. He got a good hook. That's it. That's it. If he does have a good right hand, is it a more competitive fight or? A... No. He's not a complete fighter at all. So, Ryan said, you see him tank. How, how one sided do you feel, or how dominant are you going to be in this fight, given uh, you feel that Ryan's just he's just a one trick pony? Uh, we just got to wait and see when we get in there, you know? For sure, got to wait and see. But I just feel as though he just he ain't, he ain't got the, uh, everything. He don't have everything. I feel as though he's going to have to show, he's going to have to do a lot. Are you and I don't think it just worked over this one fight. He should have been doing this for yeah, so it ain't gonna work for this couple. Like right. adding on to his game, you mean? Yeah. 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 Ryan said you 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 too small to uh, to throw straight punches. What's your thoughts on that? Gotta wait and see. Gotta wait and see. He's gonna be surprised though for sure. His reach is not that much longer than mine, so he need to shut the hell up. <laughs> You know, Ryan keeps saying that this fight is personal for him because you disrespect his family. Do you know what he's talking about? What? What? Did, yeah, I ain't never seen me say nothing about his family. I ain't say nothing about his family. I don't even know his family to be saying anything about him. His father or his mother. I don't know nobody. There's a lot being made, uh, you know, by fans, and experts about your experience being a big reason why you're the favorite in this fight. Do you agree with that? And, you know, fighting multiple champs he hasn't fought that's going to be tough for him to overcome. Yeah, I think me just think me just like looking back on it, just um, he looked good against people that he's supposed to look good against. I never seen a fight come on and say like somebody that he fought or somebody that he sparred or anything like that that was really good at saying that he was top level. I think he just he just looked like that on guys that he's supposed to look like. You know what I mean? Will, will he uh, rise to the occasion though? Being like you did know. with Pedraza, you know, you hadn't fought anyone like that until that point, and then you yeah. rose to the occasion. I mean, I don't know. We gotta wait and see. We gotta wait and see. Tank, tell, tell me about meeting Denzel Washington. How'd that come about? Were you surprised that he's a big fan? Or did you expect that? Yeah, I was. I, I was definitely surprised just because of um, who he is, and like, and I actually watched. He's actually my favorite um, movie like, and things like that, and I just. I was actually on my, I mean, I walk into my seat and then I look like, like out my corner of my eye, seeing him like approaching me and he was like filled with energy type stuff. So it was amazing just meeting him and knowing that he's a fan of mine and I'm a fan of his. Does he, get a, does he get a ticket to the fight? 
But he. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think no. I mean, yeah, if Denzel would probably, yeah, for sure, Denzel would get a ticket to the fight. But he, hey, well, listen, Ryan already been on Mike Tyson's podcast twice. Why have you know, haven't been on it yet? Do you plan on going? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I go on. I go on Mike Tyson um, podcast for sure. I mean, because I think Mike Tyson joining is them LA, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I probably just been moving around. I can, I get on his podcast. Javante, what do you think of Canelo saying that you're his favorite fighter? Uh, what do you think of Canelo saying that you're his favorite fighter? It's big, you know. Canelo is one of the top dogs in the sport uh, as of right now, and um, he's a great fighter himself. So. Just having somebody like him to say I'm his favorite fighter is pretty like touching.